Is it a vlog? Is that what we do? Is it a vlog? Is it a vlog? It's gonna be a fancy vlog. <laughs> We are on our way to Spa, to the Spa 24 hours. We've been invited by Writer Engineering who made the race cars. The, this is inspired by. Um, and yeah, they've invited us over to basically, effectively just park up next to their cars and uh, watch the event and be a bit of VIP. How long has it been since you're in Europe? No, nine. Nineteen? Nineteen? <laughs> nine. Nine. <laughs> It's changed. Uh, no, it was when we went to Nürburgring in 2019. Ah, oh, Nürburgring, that's a good day out. Yeah, it was. Spa and Nürburgring being basically next to each other. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's always the same day. journey when you get to Europe. Oh, Random someone's pants. On the floor, so. Hello. Hello. We're meeting Writer Engineering. What's up, Pumo? Yeah. Um, we will continue. Thank you. Merci. Merci. It's good to know that no matter how posh the race event, we still never find a place to park trailers. No. No. Alex, what do you think about the car? First thing, first impression. <laughs> uh, Different to the race car? In real life now, it's just crazy. And I love the number plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not no, bad. Not a bad start, as it goes. I know. No. We've kind of just described. Can you describe the last ten minutes very quick? Intense. <laughs> <laughs> Drove in the back. Drove in the back. Looks like there's a race lining up now. That's TV about to start. Um, everyone seems really friendly and excited, and we're here. Yeah. And just a quick talk about what's behind you, in general. That's a Lamborghini GT cars from the last twenty years or so, I guess. And a Viper over there. And a Viper. And then down there there's more GTRs and yeah. Baron F1 GTR yeah, and yeah, just, just the greatest of the NA. Uh, well there's a GT2 down there as well. Yeah. Or the GT it's as we call it. Fantastic oh. endurance racing Love history. It. Yeah. So that was a bit of a whirlwind start. My god. <laughs> and that was Hans Reiter, was it? Yeah, what, what a reception. That's, uh, I mean, they said that all the guys at Reiter love the car, but to see them all flocking around it is, yeah, I'm very, very proud. I'm uh, very happy. Good job, we've got sunglasses on the mic, right? Uh,
Yeah, it's amazing how small they are. Yeah. That's like one and a quarter or something like that, isn't it? Yeah. And it's like it's full internet. What are we looking at here? Uh, basically, to make it road legal, uh, it has a different set of. Uh, Wait, this is road legal? Yeah, this one's road legal. Yeah, yeah, it's road legal. <laughs> <laughs> Man, is, that, is that a big question mark you forgot? Yeah, this one's right legal. But you're in full race trim today? Full race, full race trim today, yeah. Um, also on the inlet, this is unrestricted. So this basically is on the full power setting, which is about 650. Um, and usually for road, we'll put the restrictors in, which are basically just like uh, those inlet trumpets, but they taper. So that just kind of turns the power down. But literally, apart from that, it is pretty much just not believe how much a set of like road tires for this cost. Yeah, it's, I don't, I don't want to know. It's, <laughs> it's, it's what, it's why I use like probably what would be in your eyes scrap tires. Yeah, yeah, it's like oh, five minutes right road yeah. down. Yeah, the whole thing. You want to keep them like as raw as possible. Yeah. So like you know, everything you see inside, like, he's had a new little custom seat made. It's basically this big bar here that yeah. comes down. Uh, he basically just has the container set out. Yeah, it's oh, So the original page, we actually have to cut out of yeah. the car when we make it. Um, and then obviously a new page is put in. Basically put some car mats in it and yeah. uh, it's away. And some night like, running shoe graphics on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really nice. Incredible. Thank you so much for showing us around. Uh, yeah, thank you. Amazing. Day two. Oh, look how warm it is. So today then... We've, uh, learned that we've got a little shuttle bus thing from the car park to the track. Yeah, so we don't have to do super sketchy quad biking today. <laughs> yeah, luckily not. <laughs> as fun as that was, I'm happy to never do it again. I'm <laughs> uh, pretty sure I was going to get my foot run over if we carried on. <laughs> Uniquely, universally regarded the world's most dangerous form of transport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as a quad bike. Even worse when it's running out of fuel and just constantly... <laughs> <running on>. Four <laughs> up. Four up on, the, on a quad bike. Now let me insert some janky mobile footage here. <laughs> Our mate Barnacle at work's done me over and there's no prototypes in this race. <laughs> GT3 is the top class. I just, crap, I wish I'd... Barnacle, yeah. Why did I even bother? I've seen these before. <laughs> we might as well go home. Yeah. <laughs> Hey yo, this is the bigger flow, flowing just like I'm Tigolo. Little brother status, the realest, just like a Figaro. We could keep it going and flowing, but see, I'm really though. Shorty, like I'm sickly, you get me, I got the Ella flow. It's like I'm Jay Z, crazy, never play me. Wake up in the morning and yawning, just like it's Sway B. The flow be crazy, maybe, y'all be lazy. Something for the movies, invincible, like it's Patrick Swayze. I get ghost on them, they put the toast on them. Instead, he roasting, boasting, never coasting. Uh, chase marks and fabric. Clothes, I suppose. Case Fox, speak a genius. I mean, it's kind of fiendish. Can't see me. They want to be me. Get in touch like 3D. We be so blessed. Yes, yes. 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 we can ride, we can chill, though. It's a vibe come inside that we feel, though. We can ride, we can ride, we can chill, though. It's a vibe come inside that we feel, though. We can ride, we can ride, we can chill, though. It's a vibe come inside that we feel, though. We can ride, we can ride, we can chill, though.
For the benefit of the viewers at home, what's going past this? Um, this is the SRO group, which is, it's, I think it's called Historic Racing, which again is just mind boggling that these cars are now considered historic. Oh, but it's Aston's 2006, I suppose. Yeah. Quite on time, but yeah. Are those, just, that's the olden days, isn't it? For everyone else, for, for new people, it's the olden days. Yeah. Uh, it's the best racing the ever was. Yeah. Proper engines. And it's the best yeah. corner there's ever been. <laughs> yeah, proper engines, proper car shape. And too goes. loud to stand next to. The best Just thumbs up. <laughs> So here we are, at the start. At the start, watching it on YouTube. <laughs> Obviously on the phone first. Yeah, yeah. Not a bad position though. No, it should be pretty good. It's pretty good at the morning. I know. at this time of night. Do you not know how far past my bedtime is? <laughs> my favourite bit scooter over there playing. <laughs> yeah, what a day. What a day and what an invite and what a weekend. What weather, mates, a couple of beers. I am a happy bunny. We're going to go and do a sleep. Yeah. Uh, and then back and watch the end of the race. And then we'll come up for maybe nine hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll come back. A nice civilised breakfast and then yeah. we'll come back. <laughs> Very good. Night. <laughs> Last time off. passed under the safety car and then full four.
picture. Man. Absolutely insane. Absolutely kind of, I know we've had a lot of moments where you thought this was worth it, but now... Yeah, I'm blown away, honestly. I'm going to be crap at talking to a camera because, yeah, it's, it's, it, honestly, it's a bit emotional. Incredible, absolutely incredible. It's actually, it's actually not any more airflow than mine. Um, it's just got nothing in the way of it, so that will go there as well. So this is an, this is the intake here for the people at home. This is for, this is the intake for the radiator. So at the back of this car, instead of on mine, the radiators sit one there and one there. This has got two gigantic radiators, probably like a meter wide, that sit at the back. Um, and no space for silence, is fun, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> Which is part of the reason why they sound so mental. So there was like, you're saying there's 16 total yes. Nursery Logo race cars yes. built. 16 cars in total, 11 of them in uh, RGT spec, and uh, 5 of them are SV. Yeah. And they are just, they're built from 2003, you say? Yeah, 2003 was development and uh, some testing, and uh, the first race was end of 2003, and uh, then the first real race where the car was uh, quite of competitive was uh, in Valencia. Yeah. One thing that I've not seen on a single other Nursery Logo race car, that, that's the true. triple vents like that. We had a, a street version of the Louvres uh, for the original uh, front fenders. Yeah. So just some small carbon fiber inserts for the fenders, which look like yeah. the race car, but uh, yeah, to see the race car spec on the street car, that's, that's great. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Again, I can't thank you enough for the invite. It's such an honor to be here. Like The fact that you've even allowed me to park next to these cars, my dream car. It's also an honor for us to have uh, such a car here. That, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, you're welcome. Have you got any ear, ear protectors for yourself? Because I can put two hands in my Much like the million dollar man, these will all be rebuilt. They're too expensive to not rebuild. Absolutely. I'm not sure on the story behind this one, but I hope the driver was okay. That was a big one. We were discussing how you can how you can run a, a car for a full 24 hours without changing brake pads. Yeah, we know we know about endurance calipers and pads, don't we? But still, for me, this is the proof that even though you think you can afford the cup car or whatever, it's like sixty grand or one hundred and sixty grand, or whatever, or millions. It's then you have to start again. You just have one. You have to do this too for fun. Yeah, <laughs> and you have to have a real person do it, not like. Me in my workshop with my buddy Jay. It's like real people have to make these cars, right? Yeah, this is the reality. Nah, we need a lorry. <laughs> We've got hands. <laughs> oh. oh. Strong okay. Strong coming Yeah. Set 11 front right. That's how many wheels. That's, that's what tells you about how much something like this costs. It'd be interesting if someone in the comments actually does any of this GT racing can tell us like how many consumables they expect to just bring and how many they expect to use. It'd be fascinating to know if anyone knows those hope, numbers. Yeah. Even at the, the sort of back marker level, it's gonna cost 
millions, right? That's why you need sponsors. Be and I hate stickers, so I can never do it. <laughs> Just like every great criminal says, always have an escape plan. That's it. <laughs> We're gonna load up and then go and watch the last hour and a half. Yeah. And then we can do a quick escape. Yeah. bit of a curiosity. Uh, it's not, we're not too curious about it because just before we came we thought we'd solve the problem with one of the throttle motors. What we've actually done is made it a lot worse. Oh no, right. <laughs> For the yeah, user home. There's basically these, um, these adjustable links that you see here uh, and these are the throttle motors, one front and back. And there's so many variables about where you put this particular part, uh, how long this is and the angle of this, and then you've got the length of spacing here and all sorts. And then you you set your top and bottom point on the TPS sensors uh, in the software for the ECU. And we've done all that and given it a quick rev, but when as soon as we pulled it off the trailer here, I heard an imbalance in the throttles left and right, and actually it's turned out that the step motor at the back um, is going past its stop point and wedging. So yeah, hopefully this is not a permanent fix, but it will allow us to get on the trailer because it won't even move if you touch the throttle, even the tiniest amount. This bank opens, this bank doesn't, but it throws loads of fuel in, uh, and it just stalls immediately. That's why I was a bit stinky. Yeah. Very stinky. Right. So we're just going to lengthen this, hopefully, and it will allow us to get the car on the trailer and fix it properly. Sweet. What are we doing? Aftermarket ECU business, as usual. Calibrating for our bodies and pedal. It's a regular part of the uh, running process at the moment. It's a regular part of aftermarket ECU experience. Yeah. I guess this is why companies spend years doing it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, go on. Tell you what, watching a 24 hour is exhausting. <laughs> so, yesterday, I watch counted uh, 22,100 steps, and this place is just all hills. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm out of my fitness stature. <laughs> yeah, that's quite impressive. I think. Need, it? need more burgers, yeah, yeah, <laughs> more fuel. Yeah. Yesterday, we had quite a lot of beer, quite a lot of pizza. And their pasta and their burgers. Yeah, yeah. It was a good day. It was a calm day, wasn't it? So what we've learned is that being a spectator at 24 hours is just as hard as driving in a 24 hour. <laughs>
going back to the motherland. Back home. Sure. <laughs> <Don't worry about laughs> that. <laughs> that was quite an adventure. Oh, it was wicked. Good day out. Yeah, good weekend. Yeah, yeah. It's been, uh, weather's been really kind to us. Weather's been fantastic. Got a strong little burn going on. I've been eaten by bugs. Yeah, itchy. <laughs> it's just like real holiday stuff, basically. Yeah. Bugs, getting sunburned, a bit too much beer, and loads of wicked cars and decent motorsport. No prototypes, barnacle. Oh, yeah. No prototypes. <laughs> we'll kind of have to come back to Le Mans for that one. Yeah, I might have to, you know, at some point. Yeah. What yeah. was the highlight of the weekend then? Um, I guess just getting from the there. very first bit, yeah. rolling into the pits. Yeah. In, driving the car in was a bit overwhelming for me, to be honest with you. And then, once I got out of the car, um, just plunked it in front of the writer truck, and all of the writer engineering staff came and kind of swarmed the car, including Hans Writer, the man the official, behind this. Yeah, the official right. seal of approval from yeah. the top man himself. Uh, yeah, that was. Yep. Yeah, it was. It's, it's the car's gone down really well. I mean. It's just a mad thing to be invited in the first place, so I was completely blown away by that. Obviously had to uh, take the opportunity and come. It's a good excuse to come see Spa 24 hours. And um, You've been to Nürburgring as well. This was a little bit more motorsport. I would bit. say if, you, if you're going to do one or the other, go to Nürburgring, but it's still a good event. Yeah, Nürburgring's just a big party. Nürburgring well. is, yeah, more special, but to me anyway. Yeah, and also the variety of cars in Nürburgring. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. I would have come just to see those his, the historic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, the SRO side of things that yeah. um, Peter also I think, organised the historic side of things. And um, yeah, those are my favourite cars. Those are the ones that really hurt my ears for the entire weekend. But that's what I absolutely adore is many cylinders in an engine. Yeah. So, no, get out of the house, come <laughs> see if my car still make noise. That's yeah. what I can say. We were discussing that, weren't we? Yeah. Actually, like the. It's not going to be long until, potentially, until you know you're not going to be allowed to watch most sports with we'll make noise. Yeah, yeah. we'll make that amount of noise. They'll have to be silent so much. Or we'll be we'll like electric, etc. So yeah, it's not going to be around like this forever. No, I think it'll still always exist in a capacity of yeah. some sort, yeah. but not like this. Wicked. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not sure what the video is going to be like or what it's about, but um, yeah, it was great fun filming it. And, yeah. Uh, thanks to Al for coming and filming as well with his big posh camera. So uh, yeah, um, give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe all that normal stuff. If you do feel like buying something from the Driftworks shop, that always goes towards funding doing dumb stuff. So. Yeah, much appreciated and yeah we'll catch you next time.